The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. These shows, man, are just marathons. Like so much happens in these shows. Oh, it's extra, just ridiculous. This time, can I just say how much I like Wizard Swap? I'm glad they're a sponsor because they're they're probably my new favorite uh, swap service. Very cool. I know we're 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 proud to have them. We're glad they came to came to us. All right, let's get into this. Pull let's get screen. into it, dude. It's like there's so much to cover every week. It's unbelievable. It's it's getting hard to keep up um yeah so once again um i did not have the utmost time to previously look through this news so i am seeing this for the for the first time just like you guys some of you guys are so this first uh sent link here uh is a tweet by adam mcbride this is insane was bitcoin designed to harm privacy how finny quote for for extra p magazine may 13 1993 wow uh that was yeah this is this ago. is yeah, I recommend people that somebody posted because uh, I, I tweeted about it as well. Uh, and then somebody responded with the link that will take you to the archive. We could read the full article. I, it's it's fascinating. And uh, he, he really he ex pitches and explains uh, digital cash in 19. What is it? 1993 and explains the basic technology that will be required that 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 can that can make it happen. He talks about, you know, uh, cryptography, private and public keys. Um, but perhaps most uh, fascinating or, uh, ex you know, uh, entertaining about it is this this paragraph over here. I can't really read it, Tux. What does he say? It's um, right here. It says written. this area. It says um, be aware that there are other let's read that part. Um, digital cash is appropriate, but other electronic replacements for cash not only lack its privacy, but would actually facilitate computer monitoring by putting more detailed information into databases and by discouraging the use of cash. If you see a proposal for an electronic money system, check to see whether it has the ability to preserve the privacy of financial transactions the way paper money does today. If not, realize that the proposal is designed to harm, not help individual privacy. There you go. There you go. That's Hal Finney, guys. He was The same man that was looking on how to add more anonymity to Bitcoin. Right. Oh, two weeks after being the first guy to basically run the Bitcoin software other than Satoshi. Yeah. So very interesting. All right. What else we got? Got a tweet by Bowtie Mara. Executive order tells Chinese Bitcoin miners to vacate Cheyenne, Wyoming within 120 days. If you read the language used for the mining equipment and electrical infrastructure owned by Mine One, it becomes clear that the number one easiest attack vector on Bitcoin is its mining equipment. I've always said that having specific machines just used for the sole purpose of mining is a potential risk for when the nation state decides to crack down on the network. Think about how many factories produce these, where they're located, which, you know, most of them are China, uh, if not like, like almost all of them, and how easy it is to either prohibit the import of these miners through import restrictions, etc. And of course, this is, you know, primarily an issue with, with Bitcoin, with how you have to use these expensive, specifically designed ASICs to mine and to get mm -hmm. any amount of reasonable hash rate. Uh, and most of these all come from China. So if the, U the U.S. could easily just stop the prevent the imports of these from China, you know, do more sanctions, whatever. And of course, the energy usage, uh, they can probably try and try and crack down on people who have like. Right. And, and here's an and here's an example. There was an executive order, apparently. Uh, what What is the can you what does that say? The executive order? No, no. Uh, the quote that he the picture oh, yeah, that he posted. Yep. Yeah. See if. IUS identified national security risk arising from the transaction relating to the proximity of the real estate to warrant a B, as well as related risk associated with the presence of specialized equipment on the real estate used to conduct cryptocurrency mining operations, some of which is foreign sourced and presents national concern, national security concerns, and the presence of specialized and foreign source equipment potentially capable of facilitating surveillance and espionage activities. Oh, no. So that's great. So executive order. So the U.S. government basically telling these giant Chinese owned uh, Bitcoin miners that are located in the U.S. that they have to move their operations. So it's just an example of the fact that shows you that the U.S. government is capable of finding all the Bitcoin miners because they're just large yeah. corporations that do mining. Here's an example of the U.S. government telling them what what they need to do. Uh, so it's not far fetched to think the U.S. government might be telling them. You know, uh, we need to. We need you to censor transactions. 
whatever it may be, they're they're a target and they're accessible. And we're seeing it happen now in real time, where the U.S. government is basically being able to access and manipulate the Bitcoin mining network. Yeah, it's of, both the companies that ASICs. create the ASICs and then the people that actually mine it. Those are both corporations, so they can be exactly. easily controlled and shut down. Uh, yeah, how dare you use Chinese hardware? But we can spy on you. That's okay. But you can't <laughs> use Chinese hardware. Uh, all right. Next, we got a tweet from Wall Street Silver. Average person there not trying to track and limit meat consumption. That's never going to happen. NYC Mayor, thanks to our corporate partners like American Express for helping NYC to track and limit meat consumption. Sounds that for yeah, the first this. time in our city's history, we're measuring just how much of an impact our food choices have on our emissions. First time we're doing this. We worked with the C40 Cities uh, Climate Leadership Group. And I want to take my hat off to a great corporate uh, partner, American Express, announced that for the first time in our city's <laughs> history. That's it. That's it. That's it. Amazing. So there, here we go. <laughs> beginning, beginning of the end, guys. It's happening. You will eat the bugs. Crazy. Insane. It's easy to see, it, see these things actually happen. I mean, this is in New York. Yeah, New York's a little extra crazy, but, you know, this stuff always tends to, like, roll out over time uh, to everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of time. All right, we have another tweet from Bowtie Mara. Christine Lagardi says that climate change requires an overhaul of the entire economy in line with the net zero green transition and the need to reduce our carbon footprint in everything we do, from banknotes to how we supervise banks. Last year, we're just a preview of what is to come. A hotter climate and nature loss are changing our economy and our financial system. At the ECB, we must understand this change to ensure financial stability and to fulfill our price stability mandate. With our new climate and nature plan, we focus on the following three things. First, the green transition. Second, the growing physical impact of climate change. And third, the risks from nature loss and degradation. We will study the impact on the economy and the financial system. This will help us improve our own models. We will also work to reduce our carbon footprint in everything we do, from banknotes to how we supervise banks. Just another, it's, it's, it's really similar to what we see with the mayor doing, right? Another example of them using uh, climate control as an excuse to uh control society yeah it's it's just it's just such a poor like i mean even if you believe in like the the climate change narrative with like uh got reduced carbon and stuff um i think there's other issues there like like actual air pollution i don't think carbon is really a problem even if you believe that i think it's very obvious for everyone to see that it's being used as um like just a, a false a false excuse to do a bunch of technocratic very draconian stuff uh, exactly. No matter where you stand on that. On a global scale. Yeah, on a global scale. Yeah. All right, we've got a tweet from Mr. Offren XMR. He's uh, he's pulling out, he's pulling out another, we got another uh funding uh Oh yeah. We have we had him up here. today. We uh maybe if he's still around he could yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. about it. Yeah, maybe we'll bring you up for, for a couple of I know later. I know this is this is uh controversial, right? There's some controversy here. Um so yeah, Offren if you want to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, there's so much controversy in Monerotopia <laughs> these days. Um, but sounds great. In theory, he wants to kind of revamp basic swap, right? Take it up a notch, um, improve it. I think there's some controversy as to whether or not basic swap team is involved with him on this and why they wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, we know them. We've had them at Monerotopia. I've interviewed them many times. They're doing great work. Um, so... I just, I just hope things work out in a way where they work together and, and use each other's resources as opposed to kind of like fork off and do their own thing. Offering you want to speak on this, I'll give you, I'll give you two to three minutes if you want to. Oh, want to talk. here he is. Mention this, your, uh, your request here. All right. Well, this isn't me pitching anything, but just to clarify. Ex a explain, things. clarify. So, yes, please. Yeah. So, so. Where people are wondering, like, is Basic Swap involved in this? Do they know any? Like, people are asking, do they even know about it? Because they haven't commented on. It. Well, I've I've spoken to them in private plenty of times. I've been working with them for months. 
And for example, when Dr. Cap was on the show with, with you, Doug, when he was talking about the extra help they've been getting from the community and everything, I don't know why, but they didn't, they didn't want to say my name, but <laughs> maybe, you know, okay. they, they don't enjoy the you. controversy. Right. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, that was me, of, of course. Mm -hmm. But, uh, one of the one of the main issues with why they haven't commented on the CCS is because people like at first it got flooded by bots. There was like 20, 20 new bot accounts that started that started commenting on the proposal. And then there was people, I don't know who, whether it was the bots or whatever, that were creating accounts in their names and impersonating them. So they've had to go back and and they, you know, they're developers. They're not they're not interested in in all the all of the drama. But yeah, there are there. You know, I'm working with them on this, and they should be commenting on it shortly. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that is the, really the controversy, though, right? People are concerned as to whether or not they're they're a part of this proposal. Well, well, that's not it's, it's not really the controversy is that that there's people in Monero that that would like me to stay out of Monero for reasons, and they have taken to contacting the developers of Basic Swap to try to tell the basic Basic Swap developers not to work with me. So mm. it's 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 okay. it's a lot of it's a lot of nonsense. Or the basic swap developers aren't on board with that. They're not they're not like oh well we're not working with you. They're they're more like what does this do to our reputation if we publicly in, you know what I mean they don't want to say anything out loud without you know crossing their t's and dotting their i's first. So, but yeah, what, they, what they, they, they'll comment before. Could, could you describe, for, you know, for people like listening in, uh, describe what work you have done for Basic Swap? So people yeah, like if you look at if you if you run, if you run if you run Basic Swap today, there's a good chance that either you were unable to install it or you used my installer to install it. And if you look at the order book, that was like I that was my design. I'm the one that released that. Like I'm in February when I first started working with them. Me and Technovert had, you know, we got in, in DMs. We worked maybe 50 plus commits in, on fixing a lot of Monero based on a lot of Monero stuff. And not just Monero stuff, but, you know, the whole exchange in general. Because it's, it's like I'm saying, before I came along, it wasn't even really installable. And now that I'm here, we actually have some users and it's actually usable, but it still has a lot of small issues that make it not really production ready. I say not really production mm -hmm. ready. I mean, like you can use it, you can run it, and it works. Like it's an atomic swap dex where you can swap from from Monero to Litecoin to Bitcoin. To, like it, it actually works. Like it's the only the only solution I know of for atomic swapping to Litecoin, for example. But it has has problems, right? And mm -hmm. that's what I've been working with them on is fixing fixing a lot of the stuff behind the scenes. I I hope it works out. I mean, it sounds sounds you know it sounds like a great proposal. Uh, I hope. You you sense that basic swap will will work it out with you? You get the sense that it'll move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, that's no, but that's the thing. And behind the scenes, yeah, we're 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 on the same page. We're we're good. Okay. It's just a matter of the 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 people that are in their DMs trying to tell them otherwise. They don't want to start getting attacked for saying yes in public. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you know I don't, what I mean? I don't, don't really have, know. What, I don't that. know what's. No, I don't I, know what's going no, on like, there. What I mean, what I I mean guess... is when when. People started impersonating them, and then there was twenty different mm -hmm. bot accounts flooding flooding the proposal. They don't want that making its way over to to them, right? They don't want they don't want that on their GitHub. They don't want that on their in, in their socials. They don't right. So it's like the, there's there's people acting like children, and they don't want to deal with. It. What what is the drama with you though? Like, why is there this uh, group of people well, the, that want to drama, essentially kick you out of, with, out of Monero? Because a lot of these people are are red-handed, red have been caught with their pants down. And since I got banned in from a couple of rooms, there's been people that have been trying to make sure that I can't come back so that they can keep scamming, essentially. Right? And that's the thing. A lot of the people that are against me are against me for issues like they used to get free lunch and they can't get it anymore. So okay. it is what I it is. I don't want to uh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too deep in the drama because then you know we need to let the the other sides come on and say say their piece. But why were they? Why were you getting booted from the rooms? Were you just like the way oh, you were? Well, and if we wanted, if we want to talk about it seriously, initially, initially, I was I was working on the Monero meta issues, and one of the issues was the addressing of the of the matrix rooms. A lot of the rooms mm. weren't properly federated, 
So the Havana okay. room, for example, was still on an old home server and had dead um, ad admin accounts. After fixing that, it took a couple of days to fix it. I worked with the, major, with the Monero Social and Min to fix it. Uh, ERC, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the full version of it. He Eric had Tony. started attacking, yeah, yeah. He, he had started attacking Faustub and Luigi over the restart of CCS. Because what I did was I'm, I'm the one that wrote the merge list for the restart of CCS and I put ERC on the list as somebody that should be back paid. He didn't like that, he wanted to quit. So he quit his job and he banned me from, from the, the website room and the translations room just because he didn't like me. And when another community member went to resolutions to say, hey, what can you get on offer an unbanned in those rooms? We have to fix those rooms or that's currently what we're working on right now is fixing the addressing of the rooms and both of those rooms are not properly done. Then, you know, XMR Scott decided that he wanted to start muting the contributors and anybody that wanted to stand up for me. And then he, him and SGP ended up banning me from every room. And anytime somebody like, for example, Celsta asked uh, XMR Scott to unban me in GUI, and Scott started lying, saying I was threatening community members' lives and said that he refused to unban me. And everybody just kind of was like, whatever, let's, let's, let's just leave this alone. Including me, I was like, I'm not even worried about it, right? Like, you know, if I don't need to work with Celsta, I'll work with Celsta in private. I don't need, I don't need to, to deal with Scott's inferiority complex. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I got to say, like, uh, like, so you have here the the proposal, offer an XMR uh, featuring basic swap, take over the world part two, the I got to say that the the post you did before, they're just the take over the world one, like. I don't really know what you were trying to do there with that proposal because it was like you were just saying you, you weren't specifically saying things that you were going to work on. This this proposal is well, exciting. No, I, I, um, but I, that, that, initially, initially, I did. I have think you were kind of shoot, shooting yourself in the foot with that a little bit, you know, like no, no, well, not everybody not, not everybody I, follows you and knows what's really going on. So when you put that impression out there, it was a bad impression. This no, but, I but, think is a much better no, way of going no, about it, and you're you're showing like a real actionable thing you wanna you wanna do and achieve. But go ahead. Well, the the thing with the old the thing with the old proposal was I told you some stuff in private that I'm not that I'm not really allowed to talk about in public. But the thing with the old okay. proposal was there was funding needed for certain things, and certain people knew what those certain things were, and a lot of those things were were basically in the proposal. You know, there's a lot of work that I do behind the scenes, and a lot of that work has been being done for free for a long time. And that proposal was, if you even look at it right now, I still won that vote. <laughs> so, so even though the proposal was written as, as like, like, like there was nothing in it, I still won that vote. And Luigi just didn't want to merge it. When there's been, there's been plenty of proposals, I'm not, I'm not trying to play, oh, well, that one was bad, so it, it should be okay. But there's been pr plenty of proposals that have been merged for, for the people that aren't even contributing. Right, that people that are just you know doing stuff for themselves, but that proposal didn't get, didn't didn't go through, and it didn't go through simply because Luigi didn't want it to. If we based it off of votes and off of community sentiment, it would have gotten merged, and would have been fine. But this proposal isn't like has nothing to do with the last one. This one has more to do with the with the with the landscape and the ecosystem because you know like with Havano and and Samurai and everybody else. Mm -hmm. Basic swap is a working solution, and it's a working solution yeah. that is that has no no fees. There's no there's no uh, there's no target for 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 law enforcement to come down on basic swap because it's just atomic swaps. It's not there's mm -hmm. nobody making money off of it. Yeah, I, right? I, so I that, think you know it's it's not getting it. It's it's not getting enough tension. Um, so I think you're you're, you're doing the right thing. By yeah. But yeah, one of the main reasons it, it it doesn't get enough attention, and where it's hard to even give it enough attention is because it's not, it's, it's an unfinished product. Mm -hmm. And the developers working on it, you know, they work hard, but like, you know, getting a guy to do 50 commits in a week for free is a little bit hard to justify. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard for me to sit there and, and spend 10 hours a day with somebody and I'm not making any money, they're not making any money, and we're supposed to go to a nine to five job in the morning and somehow finish this before <laughs> you know what I mean? Like before, no, it's it's a it's a worthy project, like, man. Worthy. Deserving of funding. And, I just hope I just hope it works and, out with yeah. you and the basic swap guys, so you guys can collaborate and you know be on the yeah, same. Yeah, no, page. that's what. Like, yeah. As far as as far as me and the basic swap guys go, we're you 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 heard Doctor Cap. 
Yes. All, all like he was all cheery and talking. He's talking about me. We're we're on we're on good terms. Whatever anybody awesome. wants to portray about awesome. about. Oh, do they even? Of course, we 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 talk all the time, like every day. So awesome, man. So yeah, yeah. good luck. Um, if it, you know, we'll we'll see what what happens from here. I guess they have to decide if they're going to merge it then. Well, it's not. At all, well, first, uh, somebody like like Renee, like uh, our our runner. He wants he wants to hear the basic swap guys speak publicly, right? So mm -hmm. that's that's the that's the main that's the main thing is, you know, right? Which is basically what I'm saying too. It's, yeah. It's, so let's. I, it's, 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 it's just so, it's just some happen. of the fun. They need to yeah. They they just need to not be okay. afraid to say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even wants to say your name, man. You're so toxic. Chuka. I know, right? <laughs> yep. Shit, man. Well, you know you're always welcome but here. Always welcome. I mean, all, you know, all, all, all publicity is good publicity, and yeah, exactly. And like, you know, exactly. <laughs> you're, you're you're the Trump. And, of and like I say, we, we we have we have a lot we have a lot more users now than we used to, right? Like, there's actual orders on the order book. There's actual people using it. Like, people are actually taking orders. Anybody can actually run it on their own. It's just I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend like storing all of your money on it and walking away. Okay. You know what I mean? You don't. You don't need yeah. Uh, yeah. some bad actor strolling along and being like, "Hey, look." <laughs> Offer man, let, let us keep going though, because we'll never get through this freaking yeah. news. Stick around if you can, and we, we you okay. know, we'll, we'll be talking with everybody. Okay. Yep. Thanks for mentioning. Okay. That. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for letting Cheers, me up. Cheers. Of course. All right. All right. This the show, man. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Just, everybody <laughs> just comes on. It's like the freaking. Well, it's good. Like I feel like the American community is. It's just very like. It's beautiful. You know, kind of tight knit. Yeah. Everyone's. Everyone likes to talk together and say stuff. Uh, this, we of course, we already covered this in great length. Don't need to go over this anymore. Yeah, we thoroughly uh, covered this. This is funny. This is this is pretty funny. So, um, parallelly. I don't want to pronounce that wrong. I know I can never pronounce it. Parallelly Paulus. Yeah, has a pretty funny banner at this moment. Uh, that's got Michael Saylor as the daddy pig from <laughs> Peppa Pig, eating a Bitcoin cookie. And of course, you've got the beautiful Monero logo right down there. And somebody says that it's a scam logo on the door. And of course, Michael Saylor says that you might be a Monero if you want privacy himself, which is pretty hilarious. Go ahead and uh, play that clip. Play that clip, the, yeah, the Michael uh, Saylor clip. I haven't it. heard that in a while. It's been a... That is that's awesome that they've left the Monero logo up there. I mean, that is an um, off chain solution which might be centralized and might be decentralized. And maybe you need a Monero, or you need something like that. And, and if so, the market will determine that. Let me tell you what I think. I think that yeah. there's a $50 trillion requirement to store your money in a way. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I mean, a digital property. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you had it for one second, man. You, you're, you're onto something. And then you fucking went back to your bullshit. <laughs> All right. In a sense, he's right, though. Like Bitcoin, probably, if it wasn't so like compliant and like, non-private, it might probably wouldn't be as a you know the price where it is right now. Yeah, uh, it's it's fully. If integrated. That's what you care about. Then, like, what's the point? It's, it's really completely de defanged. It's completely defanged. All right. So this page keeps breaking, and the scroll the scroll bar just keeps disappearing mm. um, every time I load it. It's pretty obnoxious. But basically, uh, Great Dynamics they are a private intelligence firm based out of London that does like research and analytics, for, probably yeah. for like government contracting. Um, and they released an article, "The Rise of Monero and Terrorist Financing." And based on what some people said, this article is like, incredibly flawed. Um, but I you would you think they would have done a better job. Like it's just, it's just not well written at all. It's like it's like somebody just like spent an hour, like spent an hour learning about Monero from scratch. It's just for, like, like spent a an hour on it and, so and then tried weird. to write something yeah, about. Yeah. Exactly. It. Like, yeah. But hey, uh, we we know they have their eye on Monero. Um, and they should, you know, terrorists also use the internet though. I don't know if they they're aware of that. Dun dun dun, cake wallet, <laughs> my Monero Exodus. Yeah. These two aren't even that great. Uh, feather wallet, dun dun dun. Uh, yeah. I would say more, but I had, didn't have time to read through this, so uh, that'll be in the description if you guys want to look through this. Um, yeah, it's it's really not even worth it's, reading. Yeah, 
it's I'll just kind of a, a if we hit. could get the I, I would reach out and try to get the guy who wrote it on the show it'd be interesting to to talk with them and yeah, kind of understand where they're coming from I, I doubt they would come on but yeah I don't know. This imagery reminds me of the imagery that was put on the letters that was sent to You're all the, the people that, against you, right? Th yeah, that donated to my campaign. Everybody that donated uh, received the letter. So, You're uh, supporting with, ISIS with, if you vote with for imagery Dungeons. similar to this. Yes, yeah, guys with machine guns and a pickup truck <laughs> and a Monero logo and my, a picture of me is Doug Tuman supports Monero, and because of that, he, he essentially he supports terrorism. The pandering. <laughs> Freaking fucking nuts. I mean, look, there's also Bitcoin, USDT. So, right. like, they were just, like, really pointing out Monero for some reason. Uh, yeah. Which, you know, Monero is the private one. But <laughs> anyway. This is why we got to get XMR Bazaar moving. We got we got to show we got to show the the clear, you know, the clear net use cases um, that it's just about people using cash for anything. They want to buy their eggs with cash. Well, whatever it is, it's digital it's cash. True. So this, of course, we, we showed in the guest segment, Havino Rito is live. Uh, you can try that if you if you go to the Havino Rito yeah, repository. Yeah, we thoroughly covered that. Yep, we did cover that. And, oh, look, oh, great. Conveniently, thank you, Schmidt. Uh, he yep. briefly talks okay. about this article. This article is by Kevin Hendricks, which attempts to link Monero to terrorism is fundamentally flawed and misleading. Here is why. The assertion that Monero is predominantly used for terrorist financing is an exaggeration without substantial evidence. Terrorist groups have historically relied far more on fiat money systems. Financial privacy is a fundamental right akin to free speech and personal liberty. It is essential for the following reasons. Protection from oppressive governments, defense against corporate surveillance, prevention of identity theft, and economic freedom. Three, it is crucial to note that any financial system, including fiat money banking, Bitcoin, etc., can be misused for illicit purposes. Singling out Monero is a scapegoat tactic that ignores the broader context of the financial misuse. Well put. Kind of encapsulates, I think, the majority of our thoughts. Yeah, very and, well and said. Very, very well, well said. Post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well done, Schmidt. Awesome. And last... That sums it up. Um... A few cake wallet updates. Uh, hardware support was added in version 4.16. Right now, it's only for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Polygon, but it'll be added for Monero in probably the next release. Uh, so that'll be great. We're actually having to... Uh, Vic had to reach out to the Ledger team because the Monero Ledger app that goes on the Ledger device itself doesn't support Bluetooth, but all the others does. So that means iPhone users wouldn't be able to use Ledger with Monero on cake wallet because you have to use Bluetooth on ios so vic went out of its way to contact the ledger team and he's making them add a bluetooth to monero so that iphone users can use ledger and for all the oh. all the concerns about ledger like yeah ledger they don't look like the best company they have their uh their their service that shares a part of the seed um you don't have to use that of course the reason we, we ledger was just what we started with ledger was an easy one to get started with we're obviously going to add support for other ones like trezor um, we're going to add offline signing at some point. Um, ledger isn't like the only one that's going to be had. So if you're not interested in using or buying a ledger, then don't worry. Uh, support for other hardware will be coming in the near future. Sweet. Very exciting. Let me, um, let me bring up XMR Bazaar too, actually. Have you been following the chat? We're, 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 we're there, man. We are, we are ready yeah, to I've launch. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of it. It's it's looking really good. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, actually, he moved it over to the 1984 hosting, and it's now live on xmrbazaar.com. It's just password protected. Uh, but if anybody wants to be uh, an, an early adopter, uh, an early user, but we'll keep we'll keep it closed for now. I'm going to keep it password protected. Um, but if you want to come in and join, not, not for testing purposes, but to actually start using, create real accounts, create real profiles. Obviously you don't have to identify yourself, but I'm saying, Look, don't just Tobias is selling a pizza. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, these, 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 these are not real postings yet. This is the, uh, yeah, this is the, yes. um, this is the one on the BT dev server. This isn't the XMR, but I'm, you know, we're going to delete all the old postings, all the test postings, and we will start opening up to real users. So if you want to join, I'll put a link to the chat or if uh... I suppose you could sell livestock on it, Mr. Percy. 
You very well could if you wanted to. Yeah. Any 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 goods, any services you could sell directly for Monero. There's multi-sig built into it. And so if you if you want to help grow XMR Bazaar, you want to see this like actually work, participate. Everybody everybody should be participating in this. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the throw the link out there to the chat. So if you want to participate, uh, we'll we'll put the pass. You know you can join that chat room on Matrix, and that's where I'll put the the password so you can get into the password protected site xmrbazaar.com. And then yeah, I encourage you to create real accounts. I'm not saying you have to you know KYC yourself, but don't make it a throwaway account. Actually, like use the profile, list the things that you're interested in selling. Um, I want people to start thinking about it as, as something they should be participating in, even if they're not ready to sell or provide or buy something at that moment, but just start kind of building up the network of people that would consider buying or selling goods for, for Monero. And I think that's how we can slowly grow it. So yeah, and to be I'll clear, this is for like shipping stuff, local transactions, digital items, pretty much anything. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we have, we have it broken down into spending Monero or earning Monero. So spending Monero is where you go to see all the things you can buy with Monero. Earning Monero is ways in which you can earn Monero. For example, somebody may have a job posting that you could, that you're, that you could, uh, provide services for, um, what, whatever it may, whatever it may be. Um, yeah. And it's not just, it's, it's for local things as well, right? It could be, uh, Come, come paint my house for $5,000 in Monero. I mean, I'm just going to start putting up a lot of different listings and listing types that, that will sit there and maybe one day somebody will come on and fulfill them. But things that I'd be willing to pay Monero for, goods and services, and start to see who, who will arise as uh, being willing to fulfill those posts.